What's up everybody, it's your boy Heaven Sent, and this is my smoking channel. <clears throat> Today's video I'm going to be um, reviewing an article for you guys. Um, see exactly what the article is titled. <clears throat> it has to do with um, buying distillate. It says, Cannabis Distillate's Buyer's Guide, How to Look for Quality Products. So I'm not just going to be reading off of the article, I'm going to be um, breaking it down um, by each part of the article and then I'm um, giving you guys my opinion on the certain topics. So it starts off like this. If you're a fan of concentrates, then you guys have probably heard of cannabis distillate before. I think we all have. It's what I'm smoking right now. I'm smoking um, distillate with live resin terpenes. So not just distillate with botanical or fruit terpenes, but actual um, cannabis derived terpenes are inside of the pen. There's um, distillate with cannabis derived and without cannabis derived terpenes. And then there's a uh, live resin. But um, let's get back into the article. These are highly refined uh, products which are incredibly popular among uh, types of consumers due to their purity, potency, and clarity. Very true. I definitely um, enjoy free cannabis companies' products uh, due to their clarity and the purity and their potency. It's very nice. However, not every distillate product is created equal. Some companies are capitalizing on the curb appeal of distillate by producing subpar or impure products, resulting in an overflow of iffy distillate on the market. So some companies end up failing like pesticide tests and um, ha for harmful metals inside of their um, carts. <clears throat> That's just because they're not doing good quality control and uh, they're just letting anything pass in their tests. Um, so then it says, how can you be sure you're buying quality distillate every time that you uh, visit the dispensary? The answer is easy with a little due diligence. Understanding products from a, a procedural level can help you differentiate between who's simply turning trash into cash and who's actually producing artisan cannabis distillate. So when you try different um, companies, you may notice some are more effective than others. Some hit you harder than uh, another company's may have. And that just has to do with the quality of the distillate and how they're going about making it. Some companies make their distillate with nothing but trim. Some companies make their distillate with whole flowers. Some, and it just uh, carries on from there. There are moon rock carts you can get. Uh, I'm not really sure if they're made with moon rocks, but it's definitely advertised like that. But an overview. For anyone who doesn't already know, cannabis distillate is a highly um, potent form of cannabis concentrate that's ultra refined through a distillation process. Um, so there's live resin and then you can also take the live resin and um, you can distill it, which is what a company like Raw Garden does when they call it refined live resin or a company like Select calling it enhanced live resin. But because of the refinement techniques used, distillate can reach up to 99% potency and is known as one of the strongest concentrates on the market. Even better, because of the high heat used during distillation, distillate products are fully activated and can be used in a variety of ways such as oral, ingestion, or topical application. What that means is that um, you can eat distillate and it'll still work, the THC is activated, or you can, I don't know what topical means, maybe it means you can rub it on you or some shit, I don't fucking know. <clears throat> but... Let's skip down to what it says, what to look for in quality distillate. The first thing it says, when it comes to identifying top tier cannabis distillate, the devil is truly in the details. Sure, some of the products may look decent appearance wise, but if a high level of refinement if not, is not achieved, then consumers risk dealing with harsh hits that may be compromised to potentially dangerous solvents. So what that means is, um, sure, the oil may look nice and golden, but if it's runny, it's not thick, it's not quality distillate, then you still may not be getting a good product. You may not be knowing what you're smoking entirely. Um, it's always a good idea to examine four specific aspects before making a purchase. Color, clarity, potency, and brand credibility. Um, while these indicators don't give you a guarantee your product will be high quality, a quick inspection at the dispensary for these characteristics will almost certainly help you avoid the lower grade products. So the color, the color of Quality cannabis distillate is, among uh, other things, highly indicative of how refined a product really is. It's important to note there are several different shades of color found in quality distillate, but generally a light amber yeah, hue is a it. good color to look for. Okay, so as you guys can tell, this cart is of a light amber hue, which is kind of like a yellowish gold color. Um, some carts may be 100% clear as well. Um, it really just depends. Let me turn off this speaker really quick. Power off. 
it really just depends um, how many times the product was distilled. So it can either be a yellow, a golden tint, or it can be a clear distillate with a little uh, yellow tinge. But um, as far as clarity, it should be um, kind of a translucent liquid. It shouldn't be cloudy, otherwise it was, um, it was made wrong. And something went wrong in the distillation process. But the potency is also something you should look for. Um, depend, it says depending on your personal preference and tolerance to cannabis, potency can be a bit of a variable factor. Most distillates range from 85 to 99 percent in overall potency, so be sure to take a look at the cannabinoid content prefer, before purchasing. This one is on the lower end of um, percentages. This is uh, some clout fuel that I'm smoking. Comes in at 85 percent THC. So not the highest but it's not the lowest. Most um, bud only comes in at around like 20 to 30%. So definitely still getting me higher than bud would. Um, raw distillate uh, with low potency won't necessarily be low in quality, but you need to feel, but you may need more to feel desired effects. So that's just saying if you have a lower quality product, it may not be that bad for you, but you may need more of it in order to feel the same way as with a better quality product. And then brand credit brand credibility. That's why I choose um, the same brand every time, Free Cannabis Company, because they're a verified um, brand on Weed Maps, and um, because of their credibility, I know that they're a trusted um, source and producer of cannabis flower. It says one of the most important aspects in choosing a quality distillate product is the brand that produced it. Uh, and awareness of brand credibility plays a crucial role in selecting top tier distillate products. Finding a brand who puts you, who puts you a product that you can rely on will help build brand loyalty and give you a peace of mind that you are purchasing clean, effective products every time. Okay. Damn, this is a long ass article. I wasn't expecting this. Let me get a drink really quick. So it says the downfalls of bargain or low quality distillate. I'm going to go to the highlighted section. As touched upon briefly above, lesser refined distillate has the potential to contain impurities such as waxes, lipids, or even solvents. Okay, so if you look at a product like this, this product has been distilled, I'd say, one to two more times than a, a completely gold and amber color product. Um, if you pick up a um, product that's really yellow, it may still contain waxes, lipids, and solvents inside of it and certain fats. That's why um, it looks yellow and, these, and this oil looks a bit more clear. But that's all that it's saying is that you may be getting excess fats and um, uh, other solvents. There are solventless weeds, like, there's solventless options like hash, I think. But I'm not sure if too many other... Solventless options. I'm not a solventless smoker. But the takeaways. While this will create um, more concentrate diversity, be on the lookout for low quality products and always be sure to remember the keys to quality cannabis distillate. Doing so will keep you and your friends safe, satisfied, and more important, feeling only desired effects. Yeah, so you guys just make sure and look out for that. Um, the color, make sure it's a good color. Um, so yellow to clear not brown to black and the clarity make sure it's um translucent and not cloudy and then what was it um color clarity let's see potency and make sure it's a strong product make sure it's something at least 85 to uh 99 percent to 99 that might be hard to find but i'd say like to 95 percent thc that's reasonable and that'd be a good quality product. If it's only like 70%, you can try it, but you may need more of it in order to feel the desired effects. And then the last one was brand credibility. Make sure um, the brand that, that you're purchasing from is either verified on Weed Maps or it's a brand that you've went with before and know that they're a quality brand. Um, maybe you've seen a review on it and you know that they're quality. However you went about seeing, uh, just make sure that you do your research to know that uh, the brand is a credible brand. And if you follow those four things, that's basically what this article says will help you uh, find better distillate. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video so far, um, make sure and slap the like button. My name is Heaven Sin. This is my smoking channel. If you guys have any comments or criticisms, you can type them in the comment section. I'll make sure to respond to you guys as soon as I can. 
Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, though, make sure and subscribe to more content just like this so I know to keep producing videos like it. Um, but if you did enjoy, make sure and check out some of my other videos. Be sure to enjoy those as well. But until another time, you guys, stay high. Hope you guys learned something today. I definitely did, but peace out.